A sideways day on Wall Street to end the trading week. The Dow finished down nine points to close at 22,349. The Nasdaq was up four points to finish at 6426. And the S&P 500 was up more than a point to end at 2502. Market analysis tonight. Alex LaPointe is from Advisor Investments in Newton, Massachusetts. Hi, Alex. Hi, Mike. So a mixed day today. What were investors paying attention to? Well, that's right. Mixed results as investors were weighing competing forces. Um, on the one hand, investors are concerned about the growing tensions with North Korea. Um, North Korea threatening to launch a hydrogen bomb into the Pacific Ocean. And as a result, we saw safe haven assets like gold and treasuries rally today. Um, on the other hand, the fundamentals of the economy still seem pretty good. And we saw evidence of that today in the PMI reports. Um, so uh, to that end, stocks were able to hold hold their line and stay relatively flat on the day. All right, PMI reports, what are they and what did you see in those reports? Yeah, so PMI, it's a purchasing managers index report and essentially it gives us a glimpse into both the manufacturing and the service segments of our economy. I um, mean, this was one of our first glimpses into how the economy is faring in the month of September. And we saw that both manufacturing and service, despite disruption from two uh, significant hurricanes here in the U.S., are solidly in expansion mode. All right, Sprint and T-Mobile are reportedly close to a merger. We've been reporting on this. Mm -hmm. Why would a deal between those two uh, very large uh, wireless companies be significant? Well, Mike, there are two things that jump out to me here. First off, this would be a significant consolidation in the telecommunications sector. Uh, if the merger goes through, it'll create a company with 130 million subscribers um, and 70 billion dollars of revenue. So big deal in that sense. Uh, but the other thing that'll be interesting to watch is you may recall these companies attempted to merge back in 2014 but abandoned the deal due to concerns over antitrust issues. Um, so it'll be interesting to see if the Trump administration enforces antitrust rules or um, if it sticks to its campaign promise of deregulation. But either way, investors seem to like the deal and are buying the rumor. Sprint was up 6% today. T-Mobile up 1%, both well ahead of the market for the day. Interesting. All right. We saw and reported a moment ago Apple iPhone 8 going on sale today. How did investors like that? Yeah, you saw it there, Mike. The response seems to be fairly lackluster, both from consumers and from investors. We hear foot traffic is down, demand is down. And uh, as far as investors are concerned, this was actually the worst week for Apple stock leading into an iPhone release since 2007 when it launched the first iPhone. Apple is down 1% today, down 5% on the week, down 8% on the month. If there's any silver lining, some analysts suspect that uh, this may be investor or consumers um, saving their demand for the new iPhone 10 that'll be available for pre-order at the end of October. Yeah, coming up a little later. All right, Alex LaPointe of Advisor Investments in Newton, Massachusetts. Alex, thank you. Thanks, Mike.